flows rest by product of creativity as a child sundays have been something very special to everyone but when you grow up things become questioning you wake up in the morning you wake up in the morning and go out see the sun shining through the trees hear the birds singing the song of chirping and get this feeling ah another sunday you put on best clothes and have sunday for the whole day mind finds this is strange and comes to play its part so you inquire as a habit what is going to happen to me the very nature of the mind is that it cannot see you happy the very nature of the mind is that it cannot see you happy and whenever happiness surrounds it questions why learn to accept happiness happiness is your essential nature indeed you can have a rest day only after creation if you do not create anything your life will be restless you will not be able to have a holiday create something only then you can rest rest is a by product you cannot directly rest first you have to be creative you have to feel so good about yourself so happy with yourself so worthy that you can allow rest for yourself that you can allow a day just for fun there is no need to make problems out of it the mind is constantly searching for something to pounce upon even happiness it is never it gets disturbed when there is happiness it makes a problem out of happiness as well anything that you like mind creates a problem out of that if you are happy you inquire why why are you happy that question is dangerous if you are suffering it is again good to inquire why because the suffering has to be dissolved and you have to transcend beyond the suffering you have to find ways and means to get out of it and for this the why is relevant but you are happy then you ask why this is to disturb the happiness by nature when there is misery we want to ask why when there is happiness you do not accept and you want to know why why am i happy and this question this asking why when you are happy is to disturb the happiness there is no need to ask any question when you are happy just enjoy live that happiness live that moment when happiness surrounds you accept it totally without any questioning go on rejoicing each moment of it if you are ill diagnosis is needed analysis is needed because the disease has to be found but if you are healthy you need not go to the doctor to inquire why am i healthy do you 
Do you go to inquire from the doctor why am I healthy? Diagnose or tell him that diagnose my health. What is happening to me? You do not go there. I do not know if any one of you does. It is a habit of the mind because it has been always living in misery, unhappiness and always the why has been relevant. So when clouds disappear for the first time, the sun is shining in your life, the old question goes on persisting. And what is the question why? Learn to accept happiness with open arms. Learn to enjoy it without any questioning. Learn to trust happiness and there is no need to doubt it because the very doubt will be poisoning. Happiness rarely happens. Happiness rarely happens. Those moments are few and far in between. When they come, welcome them, open the doors, stretch your arms to receive them, to receive them with your full heart. Withhold nothing. Even a question will become a very, very strong, like a china wall between you and your happiness. You can live every moment out of happiness. So every day is Sunday. It should be so. It is said God created the world seven days. He worked six days and on the seventh days he rested. So he rested after creating something. So when your day is productive and after that you can call, you normally call it, I had a hectic day, but I say it was very productive day, creative day. Every day when we I look into, there is something created. And if not, so the seed of creativity in someone around me. And out of that, after that, I take rest. So rest is of a different quality. Every day is a holiday after you have done creativity. After, then, after that, you have been creative. There is a holiday, rest. It be so. This is why this statement in the Bible is very relevant. God created the world. Six days he worked and on the seventh day he rested. So the crux of the matter is the rest and the happiness, you are restful. And in that restful moment, you are recollecting those creative moments when you have created something. And then your rest will have a different quality your happiness will be of a different, at a higher altitude, totally different. All days it should be so because all days belong to him and each moment is holy. Once you understand it, you will stop asking the questions like this. Do not think that any particular day is needed for you to be happy. You start your day with the dawn, with your normal routine, and thereafter you engage, you do something, whatsoever you are doing, not something, whatsoever you are doing, with you are doing with the creative instinct. You are walking creatively, you are sitting creatively, you are talking to someone, it is an expression of creativity. 
you are arranging your house it is in a creative manner this is what i call digital networking so you create do everything in a creative manner even if you are washing the your vehicle cleaning the floor everything has to be in a creative manner and then you will not ask the question like this do you think any particular day is needed for you to be happy happiness is the byproduct of creativity certainly only a particular mind is needed to be happy it has nothing to do with time instead everything depends on attitude how you look at life and live by that approach there are people for whom every sunday is not a sunday there is no light no sun rising even on a sunday they are clouded they are clouded in their own darkness and shrouded in their own misery they carry their hell around on their shoulders with them wherever they go their whole approach is of that nature whatsoever you s they see or hear they find something to condemn they carry their hell around them wherever they go on their shoulders even if you force them into heaven they will go on carrying their hell or hellish attitude to life with them they will live in their hell nobody can force them out of their hell unless they decide to drop it on their own it is your decision to be happy or unhappy happiness is a choice either you want to be happy or unhappy in a particular circumstance and situation existence gives you an opportunity every moment to be happy or unhappy both are the experience two sides of the same experience the circumstance and situation is one different people approach it look at it in their own way according to their own frame of mind so remember rest is by product of creativity enough for now